here with me again. So today I decided to come inside the worship space because I really wanted you to see this beautiful table all set up. You know why it's a set up? Because we are celebrating Worldwide Communion Sunday. Now, if you have been to our church or maybe some other church, you have seen what communion is or what happens. But I think it's a good reminder for us to remember what does communion mean? And why do people confront and eat bread and drink juice? Mm. So I thought nothing better than having a video to show you a video from Chuck Knows Church. And Chuck has a great way to tell you about it. So take a look. Ever been sitting in church and you're invited forward for communion, but you really don't understand what it's all about? But you know what, actually I'm gonna set this one out. Because you think everybody else knows something that you don't. You know what, I am, I'm gonna go up. Or maybe I won't. You know what, I am gonna go up because it's time for everything you ever wanted to know about communion, but we're afraid to ask on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Communion, or Holy Communion, is also called the Eucharist, or the Blessed Sacrament, or the Lord's Supper, or uh, many, many other names that I can't think of right now. Now, whatever you call it, it's used to identify this Holy Christian Sacrament. And it's a time when we give thanks to God, when we remember the sacrifice Jesus made for us, and the last meal that He shared with His 12 disciples, and we look forward to His coming again. Now, Jesus was actually sharing a meal during the Jewish season of Passover. It's a holy time commemorating the exodus from Egypt by the Israelites. Now, during their mealtime together, which Christians have come to recognize as the Last Supper, Jesus gave new meaning to two elements, the bread and the wine. Now, Jesus said about the bread, this is my body. And he said about the wine, this is my blood of the new covenant. He gave them to his disciples and he told them to keep sharing the bread and the wine like this with thanksgiving and blessing as a way to remember him, all he had done and all he would do. Now communion is practiced in many different ways in many different churches around the world. Uh, different types of bread, uh, grape juice, or in some places even coconut milk instead of wine. Which is reverent and refreshing. Refreverent. Thank you. Uh, there are also different ways to receive the elements. Uh, the most common is to be served the bread and to drink from a shared cup. Now another is called intinction. It means that you, uh, you dip a piece of the bread into the cup, then you receive both elements together. Now whichever way your congregation shares the bread in the cup, the motivation is always the same. To give thanks for all that God has done and will do for us in Christ, including His death, resurrection, and coming again. And we do it, as he said, in remembrance of me. In this way, Christ is especially present. And remember, to learn more, ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. Wasn't that such a fun video? Well, I hope you really got a great message because Chuck knows his way around and he knows how to tell you well but it's a great opportunity communion is an awesome opportunity for us to be together and all are welcome to the table so i would like now to invite you just in this beautiful space in front of this table to pray with me let us pray together would you pray with me Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of communion and for all the unity that it brings to believers around the world. May we remember our sheer faith in the diverse expressions of our love in every corner of the earth. Help us to embrace one another in one body in Christ, nurturing peace and compassion in our hearts. And 
help us to make our actions reflect the spirit of this day as we seek to serve and uplift our global community. Amen. May you have a marvelous week and may you always remember that just like Jesus invited us to have communion to remember all the good Jesus did, you can do good too. Thank you.